endless love is about uh, young love. Uh, that is um, about a young man, David, who is uh, trying to have a new beginning in his life, uh, struggling with a history that kind of follows him around, and he meets Jade Butterfield and falls hopefully, hopelessly in love with her. And the struggle with trying to overcome her protective father <laughs> and uh, her journey is uh, about escapism and wanting adventure and and yeah and it's the hurdles those two have to come over uh, or get over to, uh, to to be together. I guess the theme of the movie is young love is is, is uh, love comes first and um, I think that we've all been through that experience in our life that first love that we, 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 I guess the word is obsessed with, because nothing else matters. Not in a, obsessed in a, in a negative way, but obsessed in the fact of like, that's all that you live for. And I, I, I've certainly had that, and I'm, I'm sure you've had that, and it's, it's an amazing feeling to have that f feeling of um, being in love and not worrying about anything. And there's, there's actually a scene in the movie with Bruce Greenwood, and I talk about how you know nothing else matters, and. He turns around and goes, well, what about you know mortgages and financing and, and all adult things? And David turns around so sweetly and he looks at Jade and he says, um, he goes, but doesn't, doesn't love come first? And I think that's really the, the subject matter that, that really catched me to want to do this movie, that, 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 that feeling of, of just pure love. It's so interesting to me because when you fall in love with someone and you're in a serious relationship, you forget about the factors of having to fall in love with their mother and their father and their brother and their sister and their cousins and auntie and uh, it comes with a family, you know? And I guess that's what the struggle David has in, in, in the movie is, is the conflict between him and Jade's father um, because Jade's father has obviously lost a son and, and is very protective towards his daughter and sees David as this threat um, uh, I've never had to experience that, thank thankfully. I've always been very lucky with, with my girlfriend's families. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah it's, it's interesting. We shot in Atlanta and we got there uh, <clears throat> a month before. Um, and they brought in this woman called Joan, who is this incredible, crazy, fantastic woman. and. We did these exercises where we built trust and friendship and and loyalty and love and um, and really like became I guess best friends through this 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 situation because um, the problem with the the fact is is that I'm 23 turning 24 and I think she's 24 and when you're 24 you want to be 30 so you act 30 like you want to be a grown up you're like you know. Um, and so we play 18, and when you're 18, you're naive, you're in love, you don't know about the world, and uh, I certainly didn't. And so it's about, it was about that time space bringing us back to being these, these children, you know, and uh, uh, having no mentality of, you know, the real world and, you know, the struggles that we have to endure as being an adult. It's just about being a pure child and being purely in love. And I think that, that experience for me was, was incredible. That was worth just just doing this movie for. I'm a hopeless romantic, so I, I look in the movie and I'm I'm soppy and I I, I melt. And um, but to hear that people like the movie is 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 always a it's a nice feeling for me.